Uh, hi, everyone. I wanted to take uh, some time to go through uh, the Ricotta papers and pull out some interesting um, items that I think you may enjoy. Uh, in this way, you can see some of the really cool stuff that uh, that uh, uh, Rick's papers contains. So right now, we finished surveying or inventorying uh, 24 boxes. We have one more to go, so we're going to start getting ready to, to start organizing them. And in this collection are numerous and numerous uh, manuscripts for um, all the books he's written and also um, novels that haven't been published yet. Of course, there's a number of novels being published now that he has, has passed on. But the, the novel that I want to point out uh, from the collection, he has a lot of papers on Little Brothers. That was a breakout double hit for Rick. Um, so, in box nine, I found um, a number of his folders. And if you can see them, this one here is um, Rick's um, um, notes on how he's going to lay out his chapters, uh, some of the main themes for the chapter. So this particular one, I put this in a folder, is Four Little Brothers. And what he's done in here is that he's actually break, broke down the events in the story by the days. So here we have Friday, June 17, 1988, um, Saturday, June 18, Sunday, June 19. He goes all the way in his story of what's going to be happening to, uh, to Sunday, June 26. So he's got a week, week, week and a half. And so, for example, in this one here, what he would do is he take his um, manuscript, the one he's working on, he, he cut a chapter. Uh, so this is chapter one. He cut like the first paragraph, Friday, day one, June 17th. He'd take on a piece of paper and then he would add some notes. So, for example, for chapter one, Friday, day one, June 17, 1988, Kip Howard, who is 10 years old and lives with his father and older brother, Marty and Thornton, Maine is trying to force his memory of something he saw and experienced three years ago. Ruth Fielding, his psychiatrist, is helping him, but she's feeling frustrated at his lack of progress. It's been three years since he saw his mother killed uh, by the best he can describe it, little brother thingies. Ruth repeatedly tells him he has to face his fears and deal with them head on. So that's the first paragraph of that chapter in this and his um, uh, initial manuscript. And so what he does, he writes notes. So he has here thingies, creatures, because in his first paragraph he mentions this, um, that uh, Kip describes these creatures that killed his mother as little brown thingies. Uh, early summer afternoon, warm breeze, fluttering curtain in Dr. Fielding's office, Ruth, thin rear circle, gla um, circle glasses, round glasses, and silly blouse. So he's now writing notes, visual notes, to cement that character in his story. Even though I mean, it's a psychiatrist, but he cements that character. Uh, Kip is lying on the couch watching uh, certain, uh, I think it says, certain darker clouds pass by the trees. He mentioning the old cellar, the hole, and new house constructions on it, old witch's house, etc., etc. So every section of his chapter. He has much, he has more notes. He just cuts them up, lays them down, and ties in additional um, creative writing notes or what he wants to talk about or, or again, give him a visual description of, of his writing. So that, so he has a whole bunch of these notes for little brothers. And then he has more notes. Now these, they're all handwritten uh, in manila paper, uh, by hand he numbers them. Um, Friday, day one, June 17th. Uh, this is probably the initial notes before he ended up, you know, typing it and cutting it out and adding more notes. Kept remembering with shrink. Uh, father interviewing prisoner in jail. Uh, while working there, he gets the creep that doesn't see anything. That's during the evening. So he's done, he's just written numerous and numerous notes here. And that was in box nine. Um, I do have the prologue to Little Brothers that, that Rick typed up. It's called Old, Old Ghost, and it's a prologue to Little Brothers. What I really love that I found in this box is the box Little Brothers, another work, Hatala. Original manuscript, third draft, completed June 20, 
1987. And so in this is this is this third draft. I know you can't be able to read this because it's red. It's got um, typewritten here. Little Brothers, a novel by Rick Hodlaw. But it is uh, printed off a, uh, a printer because you can see the, the tear off sides. And it is, I mean, for this, you know, when you're printing out your manuscript on your computer, of course, it's going to be, you know, a lot, a lot more pages than when it's published into a smaller paperback. But this one here is over 500 pages. So this is one, uh, one of many of his creative writing notes for Little Brothers. Just the tip of the iceberg on that one. Um, so if you're really um, are looking forward to this and would like to support my project in just um, purchasing archival rehousing material so we can transfer uh, these uh, pages and notes, and books and CDs and, and all that materials that he has created, um, newsprints and whatnot, into archival um, after free folders and boxes and sleeves. Uh, please donate. And uh, if you already donated, thank you so very much. Uh, we're at two hundred fifty dollars, and uh, so we're at ten percent. So I've got ninety percent more to go. So let's see if we can get another two fifty and get us at the five hundred dollar mark. So I hope you enjoy it, and I will be back with some more treats.